Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hi, how are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm great, teacher. Okay, perfect. So uh, I'm sorry that I didn't connect before, but I uh, was trying to enter the other link, but it seemed that it was another, another um, class, I think. So it was uh, impossible to connect to that link. Uh, but anyways, here I am. And if there's a doubt or there's some information that I have to give you, I will let you know. Uh, so as you already know, uh, you had this session, this extra session, right? Because of the, let's say the class that you had in the first week that were not enough. I mean, the time was too short. So that was an issue. Okay, that was a little inconvenience, but now we're going to compensate, right? With those uh, sessions. And I am going to try to help you out and give you the information uh, that you need, right? To practice, to understand more. And uh, basically that's what we're going to be doing today. But I want to listen to you. Uh, so what is, how are you feeling today? And what is your plan for this week? Okay, so we're going to listen to you. Those two questions, you're going to answer the two questions. How are you feeling today? How are you doing today, right? Uh, and what are what your plans are for this weekend? I'm going to start, okay, to give you the example. I'm feeling a little tired because it's Friday and I was working all day long, todo el día completo, right? All day long. So, um, but it's more um, physical, physical uh, tiredness that I feel. It's not mental. I feel that um, motivation, I feel energy in my, <laughs> let's say, in my mood, right? In my energy, in my, uh, I don't know, internally. But externally, it's like my body feels a little tired. Luckily, this is an online session, right? So I sit down and I'm a little more relaxed. Like you right now, some of you are relaxed in your bedroom or in the living room, right? So um, I feel a little tired, but excited. I feel motivated because we finished one more week. Uh, we are alive. That's a very important reason to be happy and thankful, right? Estar vivo es más motivo más que suficiente para estar uh, agradecidos y felices. Uh, and also, uh, I feel great because the weekend is coming. So we have more free time, okay, to do other things not related to work or studying. And my plans for the weekend are, I am going to go to San Salvador tomorrow uh, in the morning. I, my plan is to go in the morning. I am planning to go and do some uh, errands uh, related to, to work. And in the afternoon, I will probably see one of my best friends. So maybe we will have a coffee together and we are going to catch up, okay? Uh, catch up, okay, in case uh, you don't know, it's ponerse al día. I'm going to write it down in the chat. Catch up is ponerse al día con alguien, right? Eh, o con algo. So for example, you say, teacher, I need to catch up with the homework. Really? Yes, I didn't do the homework this week. So I'm going to catch up on the weekend. Okay, hurry up. You start to, you need to start working, right? Voy a poner al día con las tareas. So um, that is going to be in the afternoon. I am not sure if I am going to stay in San Salvador tomorrow. I'm not sure. It's a possibility, right? Because I have another friend. And sometimes when I go to San Salvador, I stay in his house. Um, if not, I am going to come back to San Miguel probably in the, in the evening. And on Sunday, I am planning to uh, clean my bedroom and take care of my pets, my dog and my cat. 
So those are my plans for the weekend, okay? It's a plan. Maybe it's going to be a little different, but in my mind, that's my plan. So uh, let's begin with the first volunteer. Who wants to share with us? Jocelyn, thank you so much. You are the volunteer number one right now. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay, so how are you feeling today and what is your plan for this week? Okay, I feel great. And, and my plans for the weekend. I mean, on Sunday, I will study all day and take care of my nephew and my niece. And on Saturday, I will clean my house and just that. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um, are, so you're not going out, right, on the weekend. You're going to stay oh. home. You're going to organize, to clean. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Okay, Jocelyn, select someone, please. You have Miguel, Rosenberg, Norma, Roxana, Monica, Jesus, Maybelline, Stephanie, Irene, Natalia, Carla. Norma Enrique Escobar. Okay, uh, Norma. <laughs> you are the chosen one. Eres la elegida. You are the chosen one. Norma, can you listen to me? I think she's, her camera got frozen. So we're going to go with another volunteer. That will be Miguel Alexander. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, mister. Tell us, please. Well, I know, but um, for the weekend, I will only go to the gym in the morning I study. Oh, you go to the gym? Yes, teacher. Every day or only on the weekends? Every day. Well, well, only five days in the in the weekend. Five days a week. Five days a week. Five days a week. Very good. Cinco días a la semana. Five days a week. Okay, and what do you study? How do you say study admission? What do you, how do you say? Examine the admission. Ah, okay, admission test. Admission test. From the National University, right? Yes. Okay, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Let's you, continue teacher. with the next person. Choose someone, please, Miguel. Jorge Alexis. Okay, Jorge, good evening. Jorge, can you hear me? Tell me, teacher. Okay, so answer the two questions, please. How are you feeling today and what is your plan for the weekend? Uh, How are you feeling today and what is your plan for the weekend? Playing on the weekend. Yeah. Work, teacher. Work? Work, teacher. On Saturday and Sunday, the two days. And, uh, no, and Saturday. On Saturday and Sunday. Saturday. And Sunday, I go visit my friend. Ah, very nice. So you go to visit your friend uh, in San Salvador or in another place. Me. Yeah. In San Salvador. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Jorge. Can you please, Mexicanos, can you please select another volunteer? Uh, 
Another million tire Rosenberg. Oh, Carla. Okay, Carla. <laughs> Carla Reyes. Yes, teacher. Okay. My field today is my field today is very good. Um my plan, my plan is um, how do you say descansar? To rest. To rest. Okay. My plan is to rest um learning to English. And learn English, okay? Continue learning English, studying English. Excellent, that's a good plan. Okay, Carla, choose the next person, please. Mm, Maybelline. Maybelline. Hi, good evening. Good evening, tell us, Maybelline. Um, I feel good and I don't have any plans for the weekend. I think I stay at home. <laughs> that's, a, that's a plan. Okay, you are going yes. to stay at home. <laughs> because some people have a plan to go out, but you have the plan to stay in your house. Are you going to do the, 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 the housework? I mean, the, the, the cleaning, right? Doing different things or watch Netflix or TV or listen to yeah. music. <laughs> Practice aerobics at home. I don't know. Zumba. <laughs> yeah. Okay, perfect. So let's choose the next person, please. Maybelline. Roxana. Roxana. Elisa. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Tell us, Roxana. Um, tomorrow. I will go to English class in the morning. Okay. And the afternoon I will receive class from the university. Very good. And on Sunday I will go to the church. And then to uh, I will go to the lunch. To have lunch. Yes. Okay. Very good. You have a, a, a lot of plans. Now let's yes. continue. Uh, select the next person, please. Um, Nelson. Nelson. Uh, good evening. Good evening, Nelson. I feel tired and my plans for the weekend is I will do my homework to the, how do you say, Debo Technical. How do you say? Debo Technical. Technical drawing. Technical drawing. Uh huh. Technical drawing. Yeah. And and play basket with That's my friends. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. Select the next person, please. Uh huh. Jesus Antonio. Jesus, your turn. Good evening, Jesus. Can you hear me? Uh, I cannot hear you. I, I see that you uh, deactivated the microphone, but I cannot hear you. So maybe you have some problems with the microphone. Nope, I cannot hear you. 
So in this case, as while well, you fix the problem, mientras se arregla el problema, eh, you can uh, send your answer through the chat. Okay, this is. Thank you. I'm going to continue with Rosenberg. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Tell us, please. What's the um, plan? I feeling very good. Um, my my plan is uh, I will work in my home. Okay, that's good. Um, I I cut trees. I cut trees. Arbol, ¿cómo se dice? How do you say? Cut trees. Uh -huh. Trees. I will cut down cut trees. I will cut down trees. Okay. Um, why? I have many trees. Ah, okay. So it's for pro todo frutales. Wow, that's nice. That's good. Um, I have uh, one tree, uh, mango. Mango tree? Yeah. And, and sería, uh, apple pink. Manzana rosa, no sé cómo se dice. Pink okay. apple. Pink apple, okay. Pink apple. Wow, yes. that's very exotic. Yes, and um, one tree, uh, guanaba. No sé cómo se dice. Guanaba, I'm not sure how to translate guanaba. No. Okay, so you have a lot of trees. That's really nice. So you can eat a lot of different fruits. Okay, yes. thank you, Rosamur. Uh, select the next person, please. You have Monica, Stephanie, Irene, Natalia, uh, Mario, Norma, or... Yeah, that's it. No more. N Natalia. Natalia. Okay. Yes. Today I am drinking tea, green tea, for my throat. Es viernes y mi garganta lo sabe. Uh, Natalia, can you hear me? No. So we continue with the next volunteer, Norma. Can you speak now? Mm, I think it's not. She's having some connection problems. So we continue with Monica. Okay. Okay, Hi. go ahead. Yeah. Okay, tell us, please. Okay, I feel so tired. Tired. Mm, my brain for this weekend art. I clean the house. Clean the house. I in the house. Um, I travel at Alegria Usulutan with my boyfriend Saturday for the with my Wow, that's a very good plan. So you will be busy this weekend. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Norma, we continue with the next person. That will be Mario. Mario, can you hear me? If Mario cannot hear me, I'm going to move on with... Check. Irene? Hi, ah, teacher. Hi, hey. Me escuchan? Yep, we can hear you well. Tengo un poquito problemas con la señal, pero... 
¿Ya se oye? Yep. Good. Okay. Este, my plan in the morning eh, study eh, afternoon that the how do you say ir a una boda? <laughs> Go to a wedding. Uh, out the wedding. <laughs> I will go, um, I will go to a wedding in the afternoon. In the afternoon. This is my, uh -huh. this is my plan. Okay, excellent. So let's move on. The next person is, let me see. Uh, I don't know if we listen to Monica. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Uh, este, I feel good. Uh, my plans for the weekend is on Saturday, I work in the morning. Uh, nice. La, la, ¿Cómo se dice eh, lavar la ropa? Laundry day. Do the laundry. Yeah, you can say I am going to wash, wash my, wash my clothes, or you can say uh, do the laundry. Ah, okay. Um, uh, for the Sunday is the same. I work in the morning, and I want go the beach with my friends. Excellent. Very good. So uh, you have a really nice plans for the weekend. Let's continue with Stephanie. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I spend time with my family in the weekend. Uh -huh. What else? <laughs> What else is quemas? Quemas. Only that? Okay, Jesus says that in this week he's feeling good because performance, more things, very important with my study. I finished my homework of my career for the weekend. I visit my parents and relaxing some time in my bed watching movies. Okay, relaxing is good. Now, Let's move on. Uh, is there anybody missing? Alguien falta que no haya podido hablar? Irene, Natalia? Eh, I don't know, maybe. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. So what is your plan for this weekend? And how are you feeling tonight? I feel good. Good. Uh, my plans the weekend in the morning clean my house at noon cook cook in uh -huh, afternoon, you're okay. in afternoon how do you say exam examen de la universidad how do you say voy a tomar o voy a, a tener un examen voy a tener un examen yeah i'm going to have a test at the university I'm, I'm going to have, to have a test, test at, the at the university. At the university, uh -huh. And in this moment, I finished uh, university homework. <laughs> okay, what are you studying at the university? What are you studying at the university? ¿Qué está estudiando la universidad? Mercado Internacional. Okay, international marketing. That's good. Yes. So, thank you so much for sharing uh, the information, uh, Irene, and the rest of, of you, right, of, of your class. So, we're going to move on. And as I told you, that for today, we are going to review some topics that are really important. Uh, I will go 
telling you the topics and I want you to tell me, okay, teacher, stop. Um, I have a question or I have some doubts or I have some problems with that topic, okay? Yo le voy a ir mostrando algunos temitas que se han cubierto o se han visto de alguna manera durante el curso. Y ustedes me van a decir, okay, teacher, con ese tema tengo problemas o ese tema voy a explicarlo un poquito más o podemos practicar un poquito más de ese tema, okay? Uh, because the idea of this session is that I can give you more information, right? I can explain you more things. And later we are going to do the speaking activities that I told you yesterday, okay? We're going to practice expressing preferences. So uh, I'm going to share the screen right now. Teacher, sorry. Uh -huh. Hello. Uh, repeat, please, the activity. No, uh, right now, I'm just going to ex to show you yeah. the the book. And I am. you are going to tell me, T-shirt, I have problems with that topic. Or T-shirt, I have a question about that topic. Or T-shirt, we want to practice that topic a little bit more. Okay. Uh, vamos a identificar los temas eh, que ustedes quisieran poder aclarar o reforzar. Okay, de una forma breve, solo para que no quede ningún vacío, ningún huequito. Okay, uh, and then we are going to continue with the next topic. Okay, that is expressing preferences and comparing different things. So, um, I am going to share the screen in this moment. Wait a second. Here we are. So, can you see the the book, the manual? Yes. Yes. Okay. So you started with please call me Beth, right? Like it's personal information. Where are you from? Uh, you had a conversation, right? People from different countries, from Brazil, from Mexico. In this class, you have people from Santa Ana, from San Miguel, from La Libertad, from. Um, what other place do we have in this class? Uh, people who are who live in Mexicanos, people who live in uh, maybe in Copa and San Vicente. Ah, yeah, we have people from San Vicente. Very good. Uh, so there are different places, right? Uh, you practice spelling, right? A little bit of spelling, S I L B A. You know that. Eh, en el curso anterior, pues ustedes pudieron ver un poquito de, de información básica. Eh, what's soul like? So you had a little conversation about the description of a place. Okay. Eh, link sounds. Okay. Link sounds. Eso es lo que vimos con los trabalenguas, que yo se los reforcé, ¿verdad? So you can make a connection when you see one consonant and, vowel, and one vowel or one vowel and one consonant, okay? Cuando hay un sonido de consonante y el siguiente sonido de la siguiente palabra empieza con vocal o viceversa, se pueden unir, okay? For example, you say, I'm a, I'm a. Eh, in this case, he is, he is. Son, he is over, is over, is over there. Name is, my name is Elizabeth. My name is, a, my name is, a, right? My name is Elizabeth. So this is something that I personally used to do when I was learning English. Es algo que yo solía hacer para mejorar mi fluidez. Uh, cuando ya me lo enseñaron, ¿verdad? Empecé a tener copias y empezaba a subrayar con un lapicito qué palabras podía conectar y las trataba de leer en voz alta ya conectadas para pronunciarlas juntas. Eso ayuda bastante a tener más fluidez. Uh, so... For example, I'm going to write something on the screen right now. And you tell me, we're going to read it. We're going to read it. For example, uh, check.
Okay, so this is an example. There are a lot of green apples in the fridge. Fridge is the abbreviation or the short form for refrigerator. Okay, instead of refrigerator, you can say fridge, right? Um, hey, where is the milk? Ah, it's in the fridge. Where are the apples? In the fridge, right? So um, this is a normal, right, reading. There are a lot of apple, or green apples. Now, how can we connect the sounds? What, what words can we connect? ¿Qué palabras podemos unir? A lot of, a lot of. Ah, they are. A lot, a lot, uh, a lot. A lot of. A lot of, a lot of. A lot of. Okay, a lot of, yes. So we have one. Let me check. I'm going to use a lot of. this symbol right here. A lot of. Okay, a lot of. Uh -huh. Another connection? There are. There are. There are. There are. Okay. So pay attention to this, right? There are. There are. There are. So, ¿por qué unimos estas si ustedes ven dos vocales? Porque no unimos las letras, unimos los sonidos. There termina el sonido de la R, no el sonido de la E. There. Entonces puedo unir el sonido de la R con la A de la siguiente palabra. There are. Okay, very good. There are. A lot of, uh -huh. we have two more connections, two more connections, two more links. Faltan dos uniones más. ¿Dónde podemos unir otras palabras? Los sonidos de dos palabras. Uh -huh. Can we connect in the? In the, uh, no, it's not possible. But we can connect green, green apples, right? Green apples. And we say apples in, apples in. La S de apples, la podemos unir con la I. Yes, apples in. Apples in the fridge. The, okay, so if we say it quickly, we are going to say, there are a lot of green apples in the fridge. There are a lot of green apples in the fridge. There are a lot of green apples, green apples in the fridge. So we can make a lot of different connections when we are speaking, right? Uh, so for example, you say, hey, hi, how are you? I'm great, what about you? What about, what about you? Ahí están uniendo dos, dos palabras. What about, what about you? What about you, right? What about you? Unimos las tres. What about you? Okay. No hay una pausa. De what about you? So you say, what about you? So um, English is an, easy, is an easy language. English is an easy language. English is... Uh, okay. El inglés es un idioma fácil. Okay. English is an easy language. So pay attention to this. Where do we make the connections? English is. English is. Okay, English is. Very good. Is English an. Is. Is an. Uh huh. An easy. Is. Is. So four words, English we make it English. one. Cuatro palabras, las hacemos una a la hora de pronunciarlas. English is an easy language. English is an easy language. English is an English is an easy, right? English is an easy language. Um, so English is an easy language for everybody. Si ustedes no saben de la, de la unión de, de sonidos, cuesta entenderlo, distinguir lo que dice. English is an easy language, right? Okay. No es que no sepa inglés. No es que no entienda, sino que la velocidad Hace que cuesta más distinguir lo que dijo. So this is the reality of the language, right? We need to... Uh -huh. uh, Rosenberg, sorry. 
you got frozen. Okay, so something that we have to do is to try to listen to native speakers. Algo que tenemos que hacer es intentar escuchar a nat hablantes nativos. Okay, eh, so why? Because the idea is that you can communicate with people who speak English in different parts of the world. Okay, so uh, imagine if you work at a call center, for example, you are not going to say, ah, I just want to answer calls from Mexico or, or Latin America. Si usted trabajara en un call center, por ejemplo, no van a pedir gusto de dónde quieren recibir las llamadas telefónicas, ¿verdad? Uh, sino que van a caer llamadas de cualquier país. Entonces, tienen sí, que adaptarse sí. a entender. Hello. Este, bueno, yo no sé, no sé si me estoy confundiendo, pero eso sería similar al español que usamos si remas y junturas. Por el hecho, bueno, nosotros lo vemos como un vicio de lenguaje. Uh -huh. Pero ahí se, me, se amalgaban una cantidad de categorías morfológicas y al final dice lo mismo, pero ya esa fusión que hay en el sonido de manera rápida e involuntaria, no sé, nosotros lo vemos acá como algo bastante coloquial y en el caso del inglés no, no eh, permite un coloquialismo. Sí, sí, el inglés también permite eso. Eh, y de hecho, el inglés mayormente que, que escuchamos en la, en la película o cosas por el estilo, es un inglés un poquito informal, ¿ok? Por el mismo hecho de que hay un, al igual que en cualquier idioma, hay una versión formal, digámoslo así, una versión mezclado, que es un poco aceptable y se entiende bastante, y hay una versión bien eh, informal, ¿ok? Que es el que se habla en la calle, digamos, o personas que no están no está, no está muy educadas en el, en, en el idioma, lo aprendieron así de una forma no tan formal. Ok, um, y está el inglés global, que es el que cualquier persona habla y a su manera. Ok, uh, so it is necessary to adapt. It is necessary to adapt to this because, uh, as you know, we cannot control. Ok, we cannot control who we're going to talk to. Ok, entonces lo que tenemos que hacer como aprendices del idioma es adaptarnos y tratar de nice. entender y tratar de entender eh, cualquier tipo de inglés, como lo hable la persona. Ok, uh, por ese motivo les decía, de exponerse más a escuchar a nativos en el, de, con videos, con películas, música, lo que sea. Uh, pero eso es un proceso, no les digo que ahorita en un mes ya. Ok, es un proceso que va poco a poco, pero ahí depende de cuánto ustedes por sus medios, en su tiempo libre, se dediquen a hacer eso, ¿verdad? Que tanto se exponen o tanto practican o, o escuchen eh, el inglés o lo hablan. Uh, pero yo les doy nada más las pautas, ok, las pautas básicas de lo que se puede hacer para ir mejorando para ir agarrando más fluidez y adaptarnos a la forma como realmente se habla. Porque el inglés, aunque quisiéramos que fuera así de formal y bonito como en el libro y así despacito, ¿verdad? No es así normalmente. ¿Ok? Hay personas que sí, al hablar con no nativos, se adaptan un poquito y le bajan un poquito la revolución o la velocidad. Eh, pero hay otros que no. Ellos solo hablan y no piensan mucho si el otro le va a entender cómo lo habla. Uh, so that's what I want to tell you. Okay. Uh, okay. So English is an easy language, right? English is an easy language. And I think that something that you need to do is to lose the fear, lose the fear of being exposed to it. Algo que tienen que hacer es perder el miedo a exponerse, ya sea escuchándolo, interactuando con alguien, hablándolo, right? Uh, because that's a limitation, okay? That's a limitation. And obviously, uh, at the beginning, it's difficult, but if you practice, you become better at it, okay? So imagine, imagine learning English like going to a gym. Imagine learning English like going to a gym. Eso se lo digo siempre a mis estudiantes. Imagínense aprender el idioma como ir al gimnasio. 
pasa con ir al gimnasio. Si solo voy una vez a la semana, no voy a ver muchos resultados. Si voy frecuentemente, empiezo a ver resultados, pero no en un mes, sino que en más tiempo. Y empiezo con poquito, con cinco libras, eh, con media hora, y luego lo voy subiendo cuando ya agarro más fuerza. Entonces el inglés es igual. Empezamos con poquito, poco a poco, y luego va subiendo el nivel. Y voy agarrando más confianza, más, más fluidez, más, más vocabulario. ¿Ok? Es así. Si yo dejo ir al gimnasio, si yo dejo practicar inglés, pierdo fuerza. Pierdo fuerza y confianza. ¿Ok? So, it's like that. ¿Ok? It's constant training. Training. Practice. Right? Um, now, let's continue. Uh, that was a little pass, a little uh, commercial, let's say. So we can use we can use uh, linking sounds, right? We can connect the sounds. We can practice uh, with uh, different things. And uh, the most important is that you dedicate time every day, okay? Uh, aparte de la clase, cuánto tiempo le dedican a practicar o a estudiar o a repasar. Aunque sea enfrente al espejo, ahí se dice, uh, 10 minutos, nada, solo la clase, o media hora, o el fin de semana lo utilizo para practicar, o me contacto con alguien que habla inglés para que más o menos exponerme, ¿verdad? Y empezar a hablar, o aprendo vocabulario diario, o escucho podcasts, veo videos de youtubers en inglés, tutoriales, programas, películas. Ok, uh, hay un sinfín, aplicaciones en el teléfono, hay un sinfín de, de cosas que pueden hacer para practicar, pero ahí depende de cada quien cuál va a ser su estrategia, ok, para aprender más o aprender más rápido. Ok, now let's continue. After the link sounds, you practice possessive, ok, possessive adjectives. So, for example, this is my cup. This is your class. I am your teacher. You are my students. Uh, okay, I'm going to look at... Teacher. Hello? Hello? Teacher, no se ve bien la pantalla. Okay, permítame entonces, voy a mover... Acá. No se ve bien la pantalla. Now, ahora. Uh, okay, creo que sí tengo un problema de conexión, así que voy a apagar el video un momento solo para que me escuchen bien y puedan ver bien la pantalla. Okay, now. Teacher. Hello, can you hear me? Puede, puede que quien tenga problemas de, de, de conexión sea el compañero, porque yo veo bien la pantalla. Ajá, uh -huh. ok, thank you. Puede, perdón, puede ser el dispositivo, si está en el celular, hay que girarlo. Uh -huh. Dependiendo en qué esté. Sí, porque se ve, bien, se ve bien completa la pantalla. Voy a ok, salir. ok. Thank you. Okay, so we use different uh, we use different possessive adjectives. For example, Norma uh, is wearing a blouse. Her blouse is purple. Her, right? So for the possessive for 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 she, right? For the for the pronoun she is her. Uh, Jorge is wearing a cap. Jorge lleva una gorra. His cap is black. His cap is black. So for the boy is his. For the girl is her. Possessive, possessive, right? We live in El Salvador. Our country 
is beautiful. Our country is beautiful. Nuestro, right? Our country is beautiful. Um, okay, some students live in Santa Ana. Some students live in Santa Ana. Their city is very, uh, I'm going to say is very cool, okay? Their city is very cool. So I am, that's the example for they, right? There. So those are the possessive. My, your, his, her, it's, our, and their. Okay, it's is for animals and objects, right? Para animales y objetos o cosas. Uh, o lugares. It's. So, for example, eh, my dog's name is Rocky. Its favorite food is chicken. Its favorite food is chicken. Eh, uh, let me check, let me check one more. Eh, San Miguel is very hot and its volcano is the chaparrastique it's volcano right su volcan es el chaparrastique so we use that for objects places and animals you did the exercise and then you practice wh questions right what where who how and you also have when. So what is for something? Where is for a place? Who is for a person? Where, yeah, I already told you it's for a place. How is for the, the way, okay? La forma en que algo es, how. And uh, we use when for time when, cuando, right, when, for time. So for example, when is your birthday? When is your birthday? Eh, Carla, when is your birthday? Carla, can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Okay. My when is your birthday? birthday is please. on. Hola. Hello. My, ber my birthday is on. Twenty twenty fifth. 26. Six, September 26. 26th of February. February. Okay, so in this case, you say February. Si. February 26th or 25th, okay? Uh, so, okay. for example, my birthday is on September 12th. My birthday is on September 12th. So that is how you express, right? How do you answer the question when? In this case, when is your birthday? You say, my birthday is on Example, September 12th. I wrote it in the chat, right? So if you want to say, mi cumpleaños es tal fecha, you say like that. My birthday is on, and you say the month and the date. Okay, month and date. Now, let's continue. So WH question, it's okay, right? It's very clear, it's easy. Then we have, the snapshot, right? We had greetings from around the world. So we have a handshake, we have a bow, a kiss on the cheek, 
a kiss on the cheek, a hug. Wait a second. A hug. Then we have a, a pat on the back. So different ways to greet. In El Salvador, the most common is a handshake, right? A handshake. Uh, for women, it's very common, a kiss on the cheek. And also men and women, right? They do that. A hug is for friends or family, usually. Uh, then you had a conversation, how's it going? Okay, you practice uh, talking about classes. Then the grammar focus, yes, no questions and short answers. So for example, you practice, yes, I am, no, I'm not. Okay, I'm going to ask different questions, different questions. Uh, Nelson, are you from, are you from Honduras? No. No, I'm not, very good. Carla, are you married? Yes. I, I am. am. Okay, very good. Uh, Jesus, um, are you sleepy right now? Are you sleepy right now? Tienes sueño en este momento? Okay, he wrote in the chat. No, I'm not. Okay, he's not. Roxana, are you in the living room in this moment? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, very good. Maybelline, uh, are you alone in your house right now? No, I'm not. Okay, thank you. Uh, Norma, are you paying attention to the class? Yes, I am. Okay, very good. Si no contestaba, que no estaba poniendo atención, ¿verdad? Okay. No, si tengo con mi cámara, lo siento. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. It's just an example. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Eso cuando le digo, I'm just kidding, estoy bromeando. I'm just kidding. Okay? I'm just kidding. Solo estoy bromeando. Now, Monica. Are you 18 years old? No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, very good. Stephanie, are you in San Miguel right now? I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Miguel Alexander, um, are you watching TV in this moment? Miguel, are you watching TV? No, I am not, teacher. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Can you hear Let's me? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, perfect. Mario, are you uh, in your house right now? Okay. We have some problems. Mario, I cannot hear you well. No teacher, not no. I not. Okay, Jocelyn, are you sitting down right now? Yes, I am. Good, thank you. Uh, next one is. No. Irene, are you? Uh, let me check. Are you having dinner in this moment? No, I'm not. No, you're not. Okay, let's let's check. Next one is okay. So we're going to continue with the next topic. That's an example, right? I was asking different questions. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Short answers. Uh, Rosenberg is. Let me check. Is Maricela or Carla, right, wearing a, a black t shirt? Is Maricela wearing a black t shirt? Yes, I am. Yes, she oh, is. No, Carla Maricela, no. Yes, I am. Uh -huh. Yes, she is. 
pero estamos hablando de ella. Ay, en sí, este caso okay. sería, yes, she is. Ok, excellent. Eh, Roxana. Oh, okay. Now, let me check. No, ¿quién faltaba? ¿Quién faltaba? Ok, Roxana, Natalia. Ismael, can you hear me? I, I have a sleepy. Yes, I am, teacher. Ok, so, eh, hello. Ismael. Ismael, hello, uh -huh. good evening, yes. Eh, good evening. Is, is Jesús, is Jesús wearing headphones? Is Jesus wearing Hi. headphones right now? Is Jesus wearing headphones? One Is moment, that... teacher. Uh, one, moment. one moment, teacher. Tengo que verlo porque no me aparecen todos de un solo. Okay. Busque Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Wow. Está, está usando I el don't... audífonos de los, uh -huh. de, de lo, de sí, los grandes. Uh -huh. De los grandes. Headphones. Sí, ya le entendí. No, sí le entendí, pero no lo veo. No me aparece en la pantalla. The answer is no. Entonces, digamos, yes, uh, yes, he is. Negative. Yes, he is wearing. ¿Cómo se dice? Pero que no me aparece en la pantalla, Jesús. Ok, negative. ¿Cómo, hacer, cómo sería el negativo? Eh, sería ¿Cómo negativo? Eh, is a, no, he isn't. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Yes, that's correct. Okay. No okay. tiene headphones. Él está usando earphones. Ok, que son los auriculares. Earphones. Headphones ah, son los que van okay. con la diadema. Ok, headphones. Very oh, good. Okay. So let's continue. You have hello and goodbye. Remember that we practice this in the, in the first classes, right? Saying hello in different ways and saying goodbye in different ways. So um, we have... What's in the name? We didn't do this reading. Uh, then we had the next one. How do you spend your day, right? How do you spend your day? So we talk about jobs, about different work, work uh, related vocabulary. So the six worst jobs in the United States, los peores seis trabajos en Estados Unidos, right? Based on the salary, stress, number of hours, Working conditions and security. Okay. Pasaban todos estos aspectos. So, fisherman, taxi driver, cowboy, construction worker, dancer, and lumberjack. Lumberjack. Okay. So, uh, then we talk about different types of jobs. For example, travel industry, food service, entertainment, office work. We practice vocabulary. How do you pronounce cashier? Pronunciation. How do you pronounce this word, cashier? Cashier. Cashier. Cashier, okay, very cashier. good. Cashier. How do you pronounce a receptionist? Receptionist. Reception is very good. How do you pronounce a tour guide? Tour guide. Tour guide. Excellent. How do you pronounce fleet attendant? Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Fly attendant. How do you pronounce musician? Musician. 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 How do you pronounce arch, architect? Architect. Archie. Uh -huh. Architect. Architect. And the last one. How do you pronounce engineer? Engineer. 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 engineer, okay, engineer. engineer. Excellent, engineer. that's correct, that's right. So then we talk about the different uh, occupations, right, or responsibilities that people have in the place where they work. So we talk about a salesperson, sells clothes in a department store. A carpenter uh, builds houses, that's what we said, yeah. Builds houses, uh, for a construction company, that was the correct one here. I think so, yeah, probably that was the one. And then uh, 
we had a conversation. Where do you work? Hamburger heaven, right? Uh, the grammar focus was WH statements. Uh, and questions and statements, right? So we talk about what do you do? Where do you work? Where do you go to school? Uh, different questions. We completed the exercise and you had the opportunity to ask the questions to your classmate, right? Where, what do you do? Where do you live? Do you study? Do you work? What's your favorite? And you talk about favorite things. Now, writing a biography. Esto es algo que no nos quedó tiempo de hacer. Okay, writing a biography. So right now you are going to tell us a little bit about your classmates life. So what is going to be the dynamic? Very simple. I am going to create the breakout rooms, okay? And uh, let me check, 18, eight. Okay, so eight. You are going to be in purse, okay? Van a hacerse preguntas personal, ¿verdad? Uh, where do you live? How old are you? Uh, who do you live with? Con quien vives, right? So different questions. Van a tratar de obtener información y pueden ir tomando apuntes de esta persona. Y cuando volvamos de la, del tiempo que se les dé, ustedes van a presentar, okay? A su compañero o compañera en inglés usando toda la información que recabar in English okay for example uh, I am going to imagine right I'm going to imagine that I have a friend here <laughs> so um, his name I'm going to turn on the camera tal vez no se corta so I'm going to talk to you about Emilio okay él es mi compañero so he is 33 years old. He lives in San Miguel. He is a, an architect. He works for a construction company uh, in La Unión. Uh, he travels to La Unión every day. He likes to play soccer and listen to music in his free time. Uh, he lives with his wife and his two children. And his favorite color is blue and his favorite food is pizza. Esa es la información que reuní de Emilio. Okay? Eso es lo que ustedes van a hacer ahorita. Okay? Ask different questions. You can ask the question that you want, right? Are you single? Are you married? Do you have children? Do you live alone? Do you live in a house? Do you live in an apartment? Uh, do you like perreo music? So whatever you want, okay? Any question that you want. Uh, what is your favorite hobby? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What's your favorite soccer team? So, ready? You are going to have exactly, you're going to have exactly let me check how many participants we have. Eight, 16, okay, perfect. So you are going to have five minutes, maximum six, the cinco seis minutos, five to six minutes to ask and answer the questions. Ready? Jesus and Jocelyn, you go together. Uh, Ismael and Rosemary. I'm ready. Jorge, Jorge and Maybelline, van ir juntos. Uh, Irene and... Nelson, Carla and Natalia, Monica and Rosenberg, Roxana and Stephanie. Okay, so in this moment you have six minutes, six minutes to ask and answer different questions, six minutes maximum, okay? Ready, set, and... Okay, have your notebook ready. Do you, have any, do you have any questions uh, about how to ask something? Tienen alguna pregunta sobre alguna pregunta que quisieran hacer en inglés, pero no saben cómo hacerla? De información personal. 
For example, how do you say con quien vives in English? How do you ask that question in English? Con quien vives? With whom you live? You can say with whom do you live or you can say who do you live with? Who do you live with? With whom do you live is very formal, right? Who do you live with? And you answer, I live with my mom, my sister, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, I wrote that in the chat. You can check in the chat. Okay, so ready, set, and go. Accept the invitation to go to the breakout room, please. Excellent, Ismael, Carla, Mario, Natalia, and Norma. Okay, goodbye, see you later, Norma and Carla. Hola, hola, ya regresé. Okay, accept the invitation, please, to go to the breakout room. Mm, creo que ya lo acepté, no. No. Donde me tienen que aparecer porque si no lo encuentro por acá. Wait a second, wait a second. I'm going to send you to the breakout room number. Jesús Antonio. Number one, porque creo que Jesús tiene problemas con el micrófono. Así que ahí pueden trabajar los tres. Ok, now. Gracias. Ok, good. Let's check. Yeah. Um, actually in a pop -up, a pop -up city a pop -up. a pop -up city Ay, me sacaron de un equipo, ¿no? Así estaba yo y me salí. Es que Mario estaba solo, por eso la mandé para acá, Norma. Ah, va, está bien. Hi, okay. Mario. Hi, Mario. Bien. ¿Qué necesitas saber? What do you need to know? What is your name? Compete. Eh, quiero saber. <laughs> mm. What is your name? Call to number. <laughs> Complete. My name. My name is Norma Enriquez Escobar. Solo tengo un nombre, por cierto. And you, Mario. Ah, muy bien. Mm, otra cosa. De ver. Mm. Hi, hi, do you work? I work. How do you do? How do you do? I work, um, teach, and college in Santa Ana. Okay. Profesora de, de, de un colegio, Santa Ana. Sí, en Santa Ana. Ah, <coughs> eh, otra, que ver. Ya me perdí la pregunta. Este. Pero vean. Eh, how do you. No, pero. How do you say este. Lo que más le gusta hacer. I sleep. En el vida. What do, you, what, do you, what do you like to do the most? What do you like to do the most? ¿Qué le gusta hacer? Oh, ¿Qué es lo que más bien. le gusta hacer? What do you like to la do the most? Ah, muy bien. Real Madrid, perdón. Which one? Real Madrid. Oh, no. I'm sorry <laughs> for you, Jesus. Vamos a llevar a cante. 
You said Barcelona is that it? I, I prefer Barcelona, yes. Okay. Eh, por el color, no tanto por los jugadores. <laughs> bueno, que... I know, I know. Del Real Madrid, sí me gusta cómo juega Tony Kroos y Luka Modric, la verdad. Okay. You, you like yeah. the way that they play. Excellent. Yeah. I think Jocelyn likes soccer too, so you can talk about that. <laughs> she's the Aguila. Yeah, no. she's a, an Aguilucha, I think. Yeah. Okay, continue, continue. You have time. Okay. Uh, what do you do? What do you care? What do Doing. you do? Uh, Doing. What do you do? Uh -huh. ¿Qué se dedica? Do what do you do? do? ¿A qué me dedico? Mm -hmm. uh, I I work sería no oh. mm -hmm. I work eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Con, eh, yo trabajo de, de contador ¿Cómo sería? I work I work as an accountant as an accountant I work, I work as an, account, as as an, an accountant. accountant Yes, como contador Y estudio contaduría o contabilidad es siempre accounting I study accounting. Uh, it is possible. Yeah, I study accounting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, as an accountant. Is. As an accountant. Accountant es la, el, la ocupación o la profesión. Y accounting es contabilidad, el, la, la carrera o la materia. Accounting. Accounting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. okay. You, you have children? Yes. Yes, que sería. yes, I have. Yes, I do. Y ahí yes, puede, dar, do. puede dar información específica. Yes, I do. I have one yes, daughter I, or I have two I children. Ha yes, I have a one. Este sería, eh, sería hijo, como se dice, son. Son. Yes, I have a one son. son. Okay, uh, with who you like, you live? Uh, I live with my family. My, que sería my wife and my son. Okay, excellent. Okay. And, ¿qué más? <laughs> I am 90. Years. 90, 90. No. <laughs> 90. Se mira más joven. 90. Okay. 90. 19. 19. 19. Okay. I am 19. Okay. Very good. 19. <laughs> yes. Okay. How old are you? I am 30. Two years old. That's a secret, mm. Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> no se dice. <laughs> ah, yeah. Ya ni more. It's too late. Uh, <laughs> and um, what's your favorite, favorite color? My favorite color is um, green. Green. Okay. Green. 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 Uh, you, es que la plata sacó. Ah, okay. your color? What's your favorite color? Very good. My favorite color is red. Red. Very cute. <laughs> wow, a chihuahua. El perico. A parakeet. <laughs> Como, how do you say, uh, what is your profession? Uh, what is your work? What do you do? What do you do? A que te dedicas? Yes. Uh, what do you do? A que te dedicas? Yeah, what do you do? Yo tenía otra pregunta. Uh -huh. Vaya, este, yo le preguntaba 
what is your favorite color? Mm -hmm. Sí, sí tendría que anotarlo yo como his favorite color is blue. No tiene que anotarlo así, pero sí lo va a decir así. Ajá, his favorite color. Ajá, sí, ajá. That's correct. Okay. Y Jorge tiene que decir, her favorite color is pink, right? Her uh -huh. favorite. Ajá. Her purple. Purple. Ah, okay. Her favorite color is purple. <laughs> you see, Jorge, Jorge is paying attention. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yo pensé que la iba. Digamos. Did you finish? Um, quiero ver. Mejor practiquen. Okay. Sí. Bueno. Yes, One more minute. Sí. One more minute. Es que a mí no está todo. Ok. Todos. Entonces okay. eso practicamos. Yeah, you can practice. Ajá. Uh -huh. Así. Ah, este. Voy a decir lo que yo sé de usted y después dice lo que usted sabe de mí. Mm -hmm. Her name is Rosenberg Armando his, Guzmán. His he name. Live in uh -huh. his, his, his name. name. Sería yeah. his para masculino. Para él. Uh -huh. I heard para, para ella. Femenino. Yeah, that's correct. Ah, okay. His name is Rosenberg Armando Guzmán. He lives in Ciudad Arce, La Libertad. ¿Está correcto, he, teacher? He lives. He lives. He lives. He lives. Yeah, he lives. Yeah. In Ciudad Arce, La Libertad. Yes. Very good. Um, he's, he, sería así, his birthday, or his, ¿cómo es? His birthday, his birthday is on, and then you say ah. it's November 2nd, ah. right? Or November. His uh -huh. birthday is, is on, on February. It's on February 7th. February 7th. Okay, good. And, and, and tell me the, he's not a study the university. Um, okay. He are he not married, but he have family. He's not um, married, but he has family. Okay, uh -huh. excellent. He work in the mall. In the M A G. Okay. Ministerio de Agricultura y Ganadería, así en inglés como lo puede escribir. Agriculture and Cattle Ministry. I think that would be like Agriculture. And cattle. Yeah, you can say that in Spanish. Don't worry about more, that. It's more okay. long. Thank mm -hmm. you. Ahora ustedes, Rosenberg. Okay. Uh, now you. Her, her name is Monica Judith uh, Patrice. Uh, her live in San Antonio del Monte, San Sonat. She lives uh -huh, in San Sonate. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, her favorite color is blue. Uh -huh. uh, she, uh, she works all day. Um, she worked in the restaurant. Nice. The time is up. Ah, okay, teacher. Okay. Donde le pregunté. Where do you work? Uh, okay, perfect. So we're almost done. Uh, let me check this out quickly. So some people are finishing the conversation. We're going to wait for them to come back. And in the meantime, let me check. Yeah, everybody's here. Awesome. Can you hear me right now? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Excellent. 
Now, so uh, did everybody finish? Jesus? Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, Rosenberg, yes. Roxana? Yes. yes. Excellent. Rosemary? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, Maybelline? Nelson? Yes. Nice. Jorge, did you finish the conversation with uh, Maybelline? I think he, he finished, okay? I think he finished. I listened to him when he was talking. So uh, we're going to start sharing right now. Let's begin with you, Jesus. Okay. With my couple? Mm -hmm. Yeah, with well, your partner. Okay, partner, yeah. Uh, ¿Usted hace la pregunta? Yo no, soy... just... Just give the information. Solo va a dar información. No va a, pre a preguntar nada. Okay. Ah, okay. The question is, uh, where do you live? And I live in La Paz. Uh, no. You are going to share the information about Jocelyn. Como que ah. va a presentarla a ella. Okay. Okay. She lives in San Miguel. Uh, ah. She has 22 years old. She is and 22. She okay. is 22 years old. Uh -huh. Okay, and she don't have a favorite uh, team of football. Mm -hmm. And her, her colors, her favorite colors are black, white, and Great. What do you say, Gris? How do, how do you say Gris? Great. Yeah, great. Great. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And she studied engineer systems. System engineering. And, yeah. Okay. And she don't work. She doesn't study. She doesn't work. She doesn't work. Only studies. Okay. Only study. Yeah. It's, it's all. That's it. That's it. Eso es todo. That's it. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. Class for Jesus, please. Uh, Jocelyn, can you tell us some information about Jesus? Okay. He's 21 years old. He's a study agronomic engineering at West. He lives nice. with his parents and his sister. Sister. Uh -huh. He likes to play soccer, and his favorite soccer team is Real Madrid. His favorite colors are blue and green, and his favorite food are hamburger and beef. And okay. his favorite movie is That's My Boy. That's My Boy. Yes. Hmm, interesting. Thank you so much, class for Jocelyn and Jesus. Awesome. Let's continue with the next volunteer. Who is the next volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Rosenberg. And Monica. Okay. Tell us about Monica, please. Cuéntanos sobre Monica. Okay. Uh, her name is Monica Judith Patrice. Mm -hmm. She lives is she lives in San she Antonio lives. del Monte, Sonsonate. She lives. Her favorite color. Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh -huh. Her lives. favorite color. Yeah, in, she lives. Uh, San Antonio. Yeah, Sonsonate. Del Monte. Uh, yeah. Uh, she worked all day in the restaurant. And her work is very tired. That is, that is so. Good. Yes. That's it. No more. Okay. Thank you so much. Good job, Rosenberg. Yes. We continue with Judith. I mean, yeah, Monica Judith, right? 
Okay, teacher. Um, his name is Rosenberg Armando Guzman. He lives in Ciudad Arce, La Libertad. His birthday is on February 7. Uh, he is not a student at university. And he is not married, but he has family. And he works in the MAG. That is, that is. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to write it down in the chat. Okay. That's it. Eso es todo. That's it. That's all. You can say that's it or that's all. Eso es todo. That's it. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, class for Monica and Rosenberg. One more time. Now we continue with the next volunteer. Who's next? I want to listen. I want to listen to everybody. Me teacher, Jorge. Jorge and Maybelline. Uh, yes, teacher. Comienzo okay. yo. Uh, my classmate was Maybelline. Okay. Her complete name is Maybelline Dariana Jaime Sarabia. She lives in she lives at San Vicente. She lives in San Vicente. Okay. Donde va toda la gente. Uh, <laughs> yes. Her favorite color is purple. Oh, yes. She is 21 years old. Her birthday is on August 10. August 10, very good. And more information. Her favorite animal is dog. The dog, okay. Her favorite Thank animal is dog. Is a dog. Uh, she is a student. Excellent, Jorge. Uh, she live with. She live with. Mo, mother and dog. With her mother and that's her it. dog, and that's it. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jorge. Now let's listen to Maybelline. Okay. His name is Jorge Alexis Rivas Ayala. He lives in Apopa City. Mm -hmm. His favorite color is blue. He has 26 years old. Her birthday is, his birthday is on November 3. His favorite animal is a rabbit. The rabbit, he's okay. A, he's a mechanic and he lives with your parents and two brothers. And two brothers. Okay, so he is, okay, when we're talking about the age, cuando hablamos de la edad, utilizamos el, he is or I am, right? Uh, very good. Maybelline and Jorge, you got a lot of information. Sí que les el tiempo. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Class for them, please. Good job, excellent. Now we continue with the next volunteers. Who's next? Me, teacher. Roxana. Oh, no, Rosemary, sorry. Rosemary, Rosemary. and then Roxana. Rosemary, who is your partner? Natalia, okay. right? Uh, well, no. Her name is Jose Duarte. He, ah, is okay. he is married. He lives in Mexicanos. He works mm -hmm. and studies. Her favorite colors are his, yellow. His favorite colors. His favorite color are yellow and black. He has two sons. Mm -hmm. He lives he lives with his family. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. He is um, 42 uh, years old. That's nice. all. That's all. Thank you so much, Rosemary. Class for you. Uh, Ismael? Mr. Duarte? I think we lost connection with Jose Ismael. So we're going to listen to him later, probably. So Roxana, it's your turn now. Hello? Rox, can you hear me? Hello, hello, Roxana, can you hear me? Um, oh, okay, okay. Okay. Um, uh, she is Stephanie Herrera. Um, she is 22 years old. Uh, she Good. is single. She is study architect. Architecture, uh, uh -huh. she, she live in San Miguel. San Miguel. She doesn't work. Um, her favorite place is the beach. And her favorite food is fish. Okay. And she lives with her parents and brother. And that's it. That's it. Okay, perfect. Thanks a lot. Thumbs up for you, Roxana. Now we're going to listen to Stephanie. Stephanie Lisette, are you there? If you want to say eh, hermanos, pero que incluya las hermanos y las hermanas, uh, the word that you're going to use is siblings. Okay, siblings. That is the word that we use, siblings. I will write it in the chat, siblings. I even, ambos, hermanos y hermanas. You can say brothers and sisters. That's another option, right? So Stephanie, uh, I think that we cannot listen to her right now. So it will be later, hopefully. In the meantime, we continue with the next volunteer. Who's next? Elsa, maybe Norma. Um, I don't know, Irene, Natalia. Me teacher. Okay, Norma. Bueno, my class, my class name eh, bueno, is Mario Adolfo. Mario. His name is Mario Adolfo. His last name is Arevalo Linares. His spelling mother name is L I N A R E S. His birthday is on December 23. His life Candelaria de la Frontera, Santa Ana. His work a uh, mechanic. Teacher information. He is mm. legal a teacher. No sé esa última palabra me cuesta. He plays. He he plays this weekend. Uh, he goes to study to on the morning. Um, he after goes um, to a uh, wedding. His favorite pet is the cat. Your night is. Your night is taquito. Okay, that's all. Okay, perfect. So, um, let me see. I'm going to go to the beach right now. Getting ready for the weekend. Now, let's continue because Stephanie likes to go to the beach, right? So now we're going to say that we are relaxing right now. Um, let's see, who's next? Uh, Mario, can you activate your microphone? Thank you so much, Norma. That was really, really nice. Uh, let's see if Mario can activate his microphone. Yes. Yo le pregunté bien poquito. Okay. <laughs> Pero eh, she is Norma. Eh, she is the Santa Ana. She is from Santa Ana. Eh, 
Ella, she is work college in Santa Ana. Ella trabaja en Santa Ana. <laughs> y ah, solamente se le pregunté. <laughs> Hasta allí, esa fue la información que me dio. <laughs> That was information. Okay. Thank you so much, Mario. Class for you. And we'll listen to the next person. Uh, Nelson? Yes. Okay, go um, ahead, please. Her name is Irene Lopez. Uh, she lives in San Salvador. She lives? She, she lives in San Salvador with her son and husband. Uh, her, her favorite food is chicken. Chicken, okay. Her favorite music is romantic. Um, he worked in her house. Okay. He is studying the national language. Study in the international marketing. Here, the color is pink. Uh, she's wearing a t-shirt, tennis, and shorts. Uh, here. Her favorite sport is basketball. And her favorite movie is 51st Dates. 51st And Dates. Ah, oh, that's a nice movie. Okay, thank you so much, Nelson. Appreciate it. That was good information. Uh, Irene? Okay. Uh, your name, right? Your name is Nelson his, Velasquez. His name. His name. His, his name, name is. He lives in. He lives in Santa Ana. Uh -huh. He doesn't work. He study in, in National University, mm -hmm. mechanic engineer. His favorite color is purple. His favorite food is lasagna. He 19 years old. 19 years old. Um, and he lived with your parents. Um, with his his parents and siblings. And siblings. Okay, his parents. Um, <clears throat> only that did. Only that. Excellent. That's all that I needed to hear. Congratulations, everybody. It was really, really nice. Uh, let's see. We're missing uh, Natalia. I don't know if you can hear me. No. Mi pareja es Carla. Okay. Go. Carla. Carla living in San Miguel. She wore a um, house. Her is favorite color is purple. Mm -hmm. She will go to sleep after class. class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, he, and her favorite fruit is a nona. She is um she is a housework. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much, Ines. Reactions for you. The next one is Carla. Okay. Um, she is Natalia. Mm -hmm. She is a single. Um, she lives in San Salvador. His color favorite is her red. Favorite, her favorite uh, color. Her favorite color is favorite red. Her, her favorite. Her, 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 her is para ella. Mm -hmm. is, is red. Red. Um, 
she wore. No le pregunté works. mucho porque casi no se nos fue la señal a la The hora. connection, yeah, I know. The internet connection. Thank you so much. Class for you too, Carla. Excellent. Okay. Thank you everybody for sharing your information. Uh, I'm not sure if Stephanie is going to share with us. Miss Herrera, are you there? Uh, I think she's not okay able to do it. So I'm going to share the screen with you quickly. Here we go. So as you can see here, uh, we are going to discuss, okay, what I told you yesterday. So it's about preferences. Which do you prefer, okay? So uh, pizza or hamburger? I want you to uh, use the chat, okay, to answer these questions, okay? So let's take a look at the chat. Write your answer if you prefer pizza or hamburger. Pizza. You can activate the microphone, very good. You can say that too. Okay, pizza. Let's see how many pizzas we have. Raise your hand if you like pizza or use a reaction if you prefer pizza than hamburger. Okay, we have Jesus. Depends, Roxana. teacher. It depends. Okay, in the chat, uh, I prefer hamburger. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Monica says pizza. Okay. Carla says pizza. Ismael, pizza. Okay, so pizza is winning. Jocelyn, hamburger. Norma says hamburger. Hamburger for Rosemary. Team pizza or team hamburger? Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So I think pizza is the winner for one vote. One vote. One point. Okay. Now, uh, why do you prefer hamburger or pizza? How do you say es más delicioso? More. More delicious. More delicious. Okay. Next one. Which do you prefer? The mountain or the beach? The mountain or the beach? Okay. Uh, Jocelyn says mountain. Okay. Mountain. Very good. Rosemary, mountain. Carla, the beach. Uh, Nelson, the mountain. Maybelline, the beach, uh, Jesus, the mountain, Norma, the mountain, Ismael, the beach. Okay, Monica, the mountain. I think we have a winner here. We have a winner. So the majority of you. I and then, okay, Mario says the beach. The teacher says the mountain. So we have the majority. Monica says the mountain too. Okay, so. Why do you prefer the mountain? Why do you prefer the mountain? We are comparing, right? Estamos comparando. ¿Por qué prefiere la mayoría la montaña? Teacher. Ajá. Pero si le gusta la montaña, ¿por qué tiene la playa? No había fondo de, no había fondo de montaña. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, wait. I think there's one. There's one, but I will change it later. Uh, oh yeah, there's one here. Okay, so I take this one. <laughs> now, let's continue. Uh, because it's cooler, it's because it's cooler, porque es más helado, right? Uh, Rosemary says because it's quieter, it's más tranquilo, más callado. Excellent. So we are comparing, right? We are comparing. Cuando comparamos, utilizamos adjetivos en forma comparativa, ¿ok? Uh, quieter or cooler or more relaxing. In this case, Roxana, more relaxing. El adjetivo sería relaxing, más relajante, more relaxing, ¿ok? 
Uh, cuando se, algunos adjetivos que son de dos o más sílabas, muchas veces eh, no se puede utilizar el er, entonces utilizamos more. More intelligent, more beautiful than, right? Next one. How do you, say, how do you say naturaleza? Nature. Nature. Okay, next one. Avengers or Justice League? Which one do you prefer, Avengers or Justice League? How do you say ninguno de los dos? <laughs> okay. <laughs> None of them. Ninguno de ellos. None oh. of them. None of them. Okay, Avengers. I don't like any. No me gusta ninguno. Okay, so Avengers, 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 Avengers. So, uh, Avengers are the winners. Why do you prefer the Avengers? Or why do you like the Avengers better? More than the Justice League? Opinions? I prefer Hades. I prefer Dragon Ball, okay? <laughs> now, uh, so why the Avengers? Uh, Natalia or Roxana or Jocelyn, why the Avengers? It's more interesting, okay. The Avengers are more interesting. So, uh, okay, more interesting, that, that's one reason. Or you can say they are more popular, right? More famous, okay? How do you say because of Chris Evans? Okay. Um, how do you say porque son más fuertes? For example, how do you say porque son más fuertes? Because they are more strange. More strong. Stronger. 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 Because they are stronger than the justice. Leg. Okay, look at the chat. Look at the chat. Because they are stronger than the Justice League. Porque ellos son más fuertes que la Liga de la Justicia. Okay, strong, fuerte. Stronger, más fuerte. Okay, that is the comparative. Very good. Number four, Barcelona or Real Madrid? Huh, this is difficult. Let's check. Name of them. Okay. Ninguno, none. Okay, ninguno. Or ninguno de ellos, none of them. Okay. Okay, Jesus says Real Madrid, obviously. No more. Okay, Rosemary, she doesn't like any. Okay. I don't like any. So, Jesus, why Real Madrid better than Barcelona? Jesus? Because your players are more uh, efficient. Okay. Uh, okay, that's a good point. Uh, now we're going with Cars or motorcycles? Cars or motorcycles? Jocelyn says cars, cars, Rosemary, Maybelline, cars, very good. Motorcycle. Motorcycle for Rosenberg, okay. okay. Yeah. Forever. Okay. <laughs> Forever, okay, Jesus says cars. So the majority says, <laughs> Uh, cars. Why cars? Give me the more reasons. Comfortable. Ah, because cars are more comfortable than motorcycles. Okay, another reason. How do you say más seguro? Excellent. They are safer than motorcycles. Safer. They are safer. Safer is más seguro. 
Okay, excellent. They are safer than motorcycles. Uh, or you can say because they are, I don't know, bigger. Okay, porque son más grandes. They are bigger. Now, flowers or chocolates? Flowers or chocolates? Chocolates. Flowers. Okay, chocolate. Norma says flowers. Uh, Nelson, chocolates. Jocelyn, flowers. Uh, Rosemary, chocolates. Always. Okay, always chocolate. Okay. Flowers for Maybelline. Okay, so let me check. One, two, three flowers. One, two, three, four, five chocolates. So chocolates win. Uh, why chocolates? Better than flowers. Porque son más ricos. <laughs> How do you say that in English? Because I can eat. <laughs> because they are more delicious. Okay. They are more delicious because they are eatable, right? Because they can eat. Okay, excellent. And now, sleeping or eating? Sleeping or eating? What do you prefer? Eating. Okay, eating, sleeping, Rosemary says sleeping. If you have the option, right? Okay, ¿qué prefieren ahorita? Comer o dormir? So you say, nah, I prefer, I prefer sleeping than eating. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, sleeping, two, eating. Okay, so sleeping more than eating, why? Give me reason, give me reasons. I want to know why sleeping more than eating. Uh huh. Por qué motivos prefieren dormir que comer? Por qué es mejor dormir que comer? Why is sleeping better than eating? One reason, one reason. Teacher, how do you say porque reparamos energías in en English? Okay, uh, because we recover energy. Energies. Okay. Because we recover energies. Okay, it is recomfortable, recomfortable to sleep. Okay, I have a heavy day. Okay, yeah, that's true. Okay. Okay, let's continue with the last one. We finish. Movies or series? Movies or series? Jocelyn, series, Rosemary, series. Jesus says movies. Monica, movies. Carla, series. Jorge, series. Maybelline, series. Uh, Nelson series. Okay, so the majority says series. Why series more than movies? Give me the reasons, please. Is there more in interesting? Because it's more interesting. Another reason? Better plot than movies. Okay, Rosemary, that's a good point. Because they have a better plot. They have a better plot. Okay, they have a better plot. Plot is like trauma, right? Plot. So uh, you see, now I'm in the mountains. So that's series, the mentalist. Okay, that's a recommendation. 
So probably on Monday, we can discuss about recommendations that you can give about uh, series or movies, right? And we're going to talk about likes and dislikes on Monday because the series okay. are more entertaining. Oh, excellent. Hello? Which is the difference between uh, better and matter? Better and? Matter. Matter. Yeah. Uh, como Some la canción de nothing else matters. Ah, uh, better. Okay, son palabras distintas. Better is mejor. Matter is un asunto eh, o importar. Matter. Oh, okay. Yeah, better is like the way that is in the chat. Better. Okay. Is the comparative for good. Good equal better. It's not possible to say more good or more better. No se puede decir more good or more better. El comparativo para good is better. So, for example, you can say, uh, Batman is good, but Superman is better. Okay? So, better is for comparative. Now, okay, thank you. the time is up. We finish. Thank you so much. I'm going to take the final screenshot. One, two, and three. Smile. Okay, Hello, cameras everybody. on. Cameras on. Very good. I see everybody. I don't see Nelson. I see Ismael now. Excellent. Irene. Good. One, two, and three. Perfect. So, do you have any questions or comments? Guys, any questions or comments? No teacher. No teacher, all night. Everything was clear. Todo quedó claro como el café o como el lago del río Lempa en ese momento. Clear teacher. Clear. Crystal clear. Okay, so as I was telling you, right? Yeah, so we'll next, next week is the last one. Next week is the last one, okay? Uh, so it is necessary, it's very important that you catch up, okay? What is catch up? ¿Qué es catch up? Como lo dijimos al principio. Catch up. ¿Alguien se recuerda que era? No es cachar, okay? Catch up. Catch up. Ponerse al día, okay, ponerse al día, it's not catch up, okay, catch up, right, so eh, it is necessary that you catch up with the assignments, okay, eh, la mayoría está al día con las asignaciones, uh, pero hay algunos, verdad, que tal vez le falta una evaluación, eh, así que uh, hacer eso en estos días, recuerden que la siguiente semana es la última, okay, tenemos también ahí en la plataforma la evaluación final, eh, y al final, También sabemos que es una sumatoria de dos cosas, ¿verdad? Las, las tareas y la asistencia. Uh, así que Vamos procuren... a tener clase de viernes también, ¿verdad? Eh, no, no creo. Una no creo. hora Una Ajá, hora, creo que, que, creo que, que sí, está, sí está pendiente una hora, ya me acordé. Ajá. Uh, así que bueno, sí, tendremos todavía una hora extra para hacer la despedida. Ok. Uh, so we can have a virtual party. Eh, any, so if you don't have any questions, vamos a hacer guys, para la despedida, what are we doing? I don't know. Maybe a virtual pizza. <laughs> so guys, uh, practice. I am going to share information <laughs> with you through the WhatsApp group, okay? Uh, les voy a estar compartiendo más información, eh, algunos links o aplicaciones que podrían utilizar para practicar más. Eh, whenever you find something that is really good, si ustedes tienen algo que es muy útil, que les sirve para aprender o para practicar, pueden compartirlo en el grupo. Recuerden que también para, para eso está, para poder compartir información relevante de inglés, okay? Que les pueda servir a todos. 
So, uh, keep in touch with the language, ¿ok? Aunque sea fin de semana, busquen alguna manera de estar en contacto con el idioma, aunque sea viendo su serie favorita con subtítulos en inglés, ¿verdad? Eh, estar en contacto, ¿ok? That's the most important. So, eh, that will be all. I hope that you have a good night. Enjoy the weekend. Rest, rest, ¿ok? Descansen, rest enough. Eh, sleep a lot, eat a lot, and uh, don't forget to connect, okay, next week. So it was a pleasure. Take care of yourself. See you on Monday. God bless you all, and have a good night. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye, bye. Bye, teacher. Sweet bye, bye. dreams for you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. 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 Why are you